Hi and welcome to the CM Rip weekly vlog. Um, I apologise a little bit sweaty but <laughs> it's the rainy season seems to be coming to an end and daytime seems to be getting a little bit warmer so I've just been out on my bike. And today, if you watch the very beginning of this video, is about road tax and it's a question that I'm sort of like getting a little bit confused about. I know that there's road tax for cars here in Cambodia. I got that, okay? The thing is for motorbikes. Now, is there a road tax for motorbikes? Some people have said to me, if it's under 125cc, then there isn't. But it's over 125cc, then there is. And some people say there isn't. Some people say there is, irregardless of the uh, cc of the motorbike. So you can see that I'm a little bit confused over that. So if anyone knows the actual right answer, I'm happy to do so. My motorbike is a 200cc RS. It's a racing kind of bike, yeah. So it's obviously higher than the 125cc at 200. Do I need to pay road tax? I just don't know. Please let me know. When I did buy the motorbike and I bought it brand new about two and a half years ago, I did actually ask the owner of the motorbike company or the, the manager there. And because in the United Kingdom and in certain countries you do or different kind of policies related to road tax, he said, no, it's only cars. Now it's just sort of like I heard through the grapevine and maybe the grapevine is wrong or maybe the grapevine is correct. Do I have to pay? Again, I'm happy to pay. If there's any back tax, I'm happy to pay. It's not going to be a big deal. I just hope there isn't any fine for it. So please drop a comment underneath and say yes. I know where to go if do. You go to the ACLDA bank, Alcida bank, okay, and then you get your tax stamps there. I just want to know, do I have to pay for a bigger bike or any kind of bike? And if you do, then please share this video so let people know. And I know, again, the deadline for this is at the end of November. So personally, I've got just about a, a couple of, sorry, can I say about four or five weeks to do so. That's not a problem either. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is next Thursday is going to be Halloween and I'm going to be out and about in Pub Street and I'd like to shoot some video there of what it's like on Halloween. I was there last year, but I hadn't started my YouTube channel. And there's a lot of people who do dress up, locals, expats, visitors, whatever. And it looks a lot of fun. So you can see some pictures on here of some things I dragged off the internet to see what it's like, but I'm going to experience that for a little while. It's not really my cup of tea. And just have a walk down Pub Street and see how it is. In future videos, I want to go down to the Kumar pub streets. Now, I found out where it is eventually. It's purely by accident while just roaming around on my motorbike at night time. And I'll do some videos there. We've got the water festival coming up next month as well. So the fireworks displayed near the, can I say, the, the river and also the nice gardens is... I, I will try and do that as well. And of course, how can I do this without my little pussycat, Tokyo? She now is going to be about six and a half weeks old, and I'm just going to leave you with a video of her playing on my computer. Very short CM Rip weekly vlog. This time of year, apart from the celebrations and Halloween, not much happening, and I seem to have covered a lot of topics anyhow. But if you have any topics that you would like me to discuss, or basically just to shut up, uh, please do so. It's just nice to know that some people are watching this. And again, this is just my YouTube channel. I'm a retired person. I don't do it for any kind of financial gain. It's just my knowledge of being in Siam Rip and Cambodia for around about four and a half years now. I do have lots of other videos related to Siam Rip about some motorbike adventures, the things about Christmas, etc., etc. So do go to the playlist and you can find one or two playlists related to that. And there's some videos over 2018 and mainly 2019. That's it from me. I'm going to leave you with my Pussycat Tokyo playing on my computer. Have a happy week, whatever you may encounter. And always, we will be there for you. Be good. Peace and love to all. I'm out of here. Bye.